Howard. Thank you very much. Howard Wilkinson was frustrated at First Division Sheffield Wednesday. The board hadn't backed his vision for the club, but Leslie Silva and Bill Fotherby had a different approach. Over several meetings, an agreement was reached for Wilkinson to join Leeds, with the board agreeing to his four-point plan. One, getting the Division One. Two, win the championship in Division One. Three, get into Europe. Um, and four, build a youth system that will produce players for the football club, a stream of players. We decided when regretfully we had to make a change that we wanted a first division manager with success, with a success record. Howard Wilkinson completely meets those parameters and as far as we're concerned, the situation now is settled and we've got the manager that we want and we're looking forward to great days with him. Excellent news, I think. Um, the key to it uh, is that he's, he's been given a five-year contract, so he's got time to, uh, to do the job properly. And uh, I don't think that Leeds could have picked a more uh, meticulous and hard-working manager. With promotion the first stage, Carl Schutt, amongst others, arrived to help the club avoid relegation, allowing Wilkinson to plan for the following season. It made me feel like I was an influence again. For, for a couple of years or 18 months, I didn't feel an influence at Manchester United. For one reason or another, it could have been my fault, it could have been somebody else's fault, it could have been circumstances. But I didn't feel like I was an influence um, in the football world. Similar to Revy with Collins, Wilkinson used Strachan, frustrated in Division 1, to breathe new life into the club. Gary Speed was soon enthralled by the elder example of Gordon Strachan, but another young player, David Batty, just wasn't interested in anything that he'd won before. Strachan was brilliant. Uh, obviously nowhere near as hard as Bobby Collins as a player, but uh, what a leader. Yeah, what an example. Vinnie Jones was almost the opposite character to Gordon Strachan, but he could give a different kind of leadership, appeal to a different kind of player. Strachan, um, you know, Mel Sterling, Vinnie Jones, Chris Fairclough, these kind of people, these were genuine top division quality players that we hadn't seen being signed since the days of Alan Clark, really. The new mix of international talent, trusted players and raw passion saw the crowds come back. Bobby Davison was the leading light up front and after a run of results, Leeds beat Middlesbrough to go top of the table. With the league position confirmation of Wilkinson's philosophy, the board crucially backed him again in the transfer market. Get the delivery sorted out from the flanks and Lee Chapman's your man. Come on, Alfred, come on, Alfred, early goals, come on! Come on, come on, come on. This time Alan Gunn's in the way. Jones to speed, speed a chance. If he can get inside the box, Gary Speed. He's got Chapman on the far stick and it's 2-0. That's the goal that could settle the match. Lee Chapman's number 11. For Leeds United so far since he moved from Nottingham Forest. With two games to go, Leeds welcome mid-table Leicester City to Elland Road. Every training session, every game I've played, every knockback I've had in football, every horrible day I've had in football was worth it just to hit that shot. Sterling, again it'll be towards Chapman, headed out, and now McAllister back from Strachan, here's Strachan again! <laughs> have you ever seen a better goal? And have you ever seen one better time? And Gordon Strachan, with his 18th goal of this memorable season at Ellen Road, may well have struck the richest goal of his career. It was like my whole career had built up just for that moment from the, the age of 12 to 33 or 32, whatever it was. It was like, it was all worth it. The season went down to the final game at Bournemouth. The seaside resort was full of Leeds fans on the bank holiday weekend. 5,000 travelled to the south coast with 7,500 watching it on big screens at venues in Leeds. <laughs> Chapman got his 12th goal of the season as Leeds beat Bournemouth to secure their place back in the first division. It's what you dream of. 
It's winning football matches, it's being successful, it's having a team and players that you're proud of, seeing people grow and develop, it's seeing your staff start to understand what it is you're trying to do. When I first came to the club six years ago, so I'm ready. You know, that was the one aim, just to, to get the club, or to be with the club when they got back in the first division, because there was no doubts in my mind that I was joining a club which was going back. And I think it's testimony to the manager, to, to all the, the very, very great players he's brought to this club. Like this very young man here. Oh, you flatter me. Who, you flatter if he uh, yeah. keeps his feet on the ground, you know he's going to play for England again. No oh, doubts yeah. at all. <laughs> Best centre-half I've ever played with. And the difference in the start of the, uh, the campaign up at Newcastle, when really it was a nightmare of a day. For me personally, I suppose for, for, for a start on the side, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, today, another sunny day down here. What a difference 10, mo 10, 10 months makes. You know, completely turned around. Got them on 1 0, second division championship. You know, that'll look nice on my sideboard as well. Players have been magnificent because they're the ones that's had to deal with the pressure. They're the ones that's had to play. They've played 23 games like that away from home. They've all been like that. We made it difficult for ourselves with a period of four games where we played well. We we'll try to play on other people's mistakes rather than use our own ability to score goals. Uh, once we got back to playing braver football, it become easy again. As the saying goes, fortune favours the brave and it has uh, favoured us. Last